All right, what's up, fellas? It's Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL cornerback of the Houston Texans and New Orleans Saints, and now I'm coaching you guys up. All right, so we have one-on-ones between the Buffalo Bills cornerbacks and the Pittsburgh Steelers receivers. Now, notice how important one-on-ones are. I always talk about in high school, Nike rivals those camps, the Nike opening camps. What are you doing? You're, you're, you're battling against another receiver, right? You're battling against a receiver in one-on-ones, just you by yourself. Now, imagine in college, same thing, right? You got your all-star game. You got to ball out in one-on-ones. And then in the NFL, look, this is training camp where you're going against another team. You got to show your stuff. You got crowd, the crowd all over here. So anytime the receiver catches the ball, I don't care if it's on air, they go nuts. It's just you. <laughs> so you got to be good at what you do. So that's what I want to help you guys with, okay? Make sure you email, email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. I got the one-on-ones mastery that all of my guys need to have. I don't care if you play just 707 and you're in a flag league. It's going to help you in your coverage. It's going to help you, right? Um, youth, high school, football, pro, college, whatever it is, okay? Then I'm adding a mind and body and training program with that and then improve your hands kick and pump return. So it's a whole bunch. It's a whole bunch. Make sure you email me and get that. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right. I already see a few things that we can improve on. Great job, receiver. Notice receivers, how the guy stacks, man. You're going to see that. Notice how they stack. They, they get around them, they make the move, and they get back on top. Good job. I'm telling you, man, these receivers, bro. NFL receivers are that, are that deal. I won't let you know. So, Let's start off. So I understand sometimes the receiver may be off the ball. That's what we do have to get good at that. So when that happens, you got to make sure you buzz your feet, eyes on your waist, stay patient as long as possible, and, and still get your shuffles in and get your hands on the guy. Usually that happens in the slot, but sometimes that happens on the outside, of course. So we should be practicing that too. But if they give us an opportunity where they're, the, they're not really off the ball that much, and let's say, I'm not sure because I know they're doing a shotgun, so I'm guessing the ball, and then I'm looking at his foot. Mm, let's just say the ball's right here. Dude, we got to crowd the line. We need to get as close as this as possible. Because they don't like that. Receivers don't like it when you're in their face. You understand? So we don't want to give them a space. It's harder to guard guys when you're off the ball that much. I'm telling you. You're almost, like in four yards, you're like a no man's land. So just know that. If we can get up in a guy's face, and we can crowd that line, we can get on that line without being offsides, do it. Okay, that's number one. Number two, when I talk about the soft shoe, it's one technique of many. It's one technique of many. It's not our bread and butter. I just want to say that because I see a lot of guys in this film doing that. It's not our bread and butter. It's more of a change up. Okay. Um, with that being said, when you do the soft shoe, it's literally only like two steps back. It's like two, maybe three steps. Don't pedal out of here. You'll never guard a guy. I promise you. Don't pedal. Because you're going to start raising up, and then it's just hard. If you're going against A.B., what you're going to see in this film, he's going to have his way with you. Now, the taller guys aren't as shifty. They like to get you know get in their route. The shifty guy is going to make you look silly, I promise you. So let's watch that again. I do like – all right, so he's too high. But look, I would say he turned around a lot too – he turned around too early. So when we look and locate, lean and locate – I would wait until the receiver looks back. So I need to run with him because I need to run full speed. I got to catch up with the guy. So don't look back to don't look back until you see the receiver look back. And then still you're going to keep running and you're squeezing him. That's why he tried to lean on him instead of running and squeezing first. So be mindful of that. That was like three things that we could improve on on that. Okay. Be careful of getting on our heels. Now, I like how he waited to look back when the receiver looked back. So he just got to keep his feet at the end. You know what I mean? You just got to keep your feet, make sure you're squeezing and keep your feet. But let's look at the beginning because he did get on his heels. Let's see how far his soft shoe was. Okay, it wasn't as far, but eh, you got. I would just say on the press, just make sure you don't get on your heels. Stay low. Usually when you get on your heels is when you're looking up. In the, you're looking up. Like, you're not, your eyes on his waist. So try to make sure you maintain eye discipline on that and just keep your feet at the end. All right, we're going against AB. Oh. All right, good finish. Let me see if I can critique him on this. It's hard to see, it's pretty fast. 
All right, so we did a little hop back. Okay. You just got to keep our feet at the end. I like how you finish. Get to, try to rip the ball out. All right, so we're in the slot going against Lance Moore. This is 2014. Okay, since I've actually guarded Lance, and I know, well, I've guarded AB before too, but I will say this, Lance, <laughs> yo, Lance is funny in one-on-ones, yo. So look, Lance is going to buzz. He's going he's gonna to buzz his feet and all of that. Man, look, be be careful with giving, doing a soft shoe on him too because he's more of a buzz his feet. He's a quick, he's like a quick guy. He's a quick little guy. So you want to get your hands on him. Notice the trend though. We tr The goal is to stay square, make sure our eyes are right, get at least one shuffle in. When I say shuffle, I'm talking about late lateral, okay? But to get our hands on these guys because we'll, we'll, watch what happens. Whoop. And then he immediately stacks. Now, he was still close. We still almost made a play. So I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just saying be mindful of that. Okay, again. No, don't look back too early. You see that? Do not look back. Do not look back until you can actually touch the guy. So that split second, we still could have possibly get a break up on that. Don't tackle guys. Do not tackle guys on one-on-ones. All right, I'm telling you. If you're trying to go pro, at least. All right, so at the very beginning, again, on that soft shoe, man, we're, we're backpedaling, dude. It's not as bad as, like, a high school or college ones. But still, man, take, like, three steps. At, at most, take three steps, and, they, and now we got to get it in our shuffle and stay square. And when they declare, we can open up and run. Don't get me wrong on that. Good job. See how you got hands on them? All right, so yeah. I don't think that was it. Yeah, that soft shoe was cool. I think he took like three steps. But notice how... Bam. So notice how when you get your hands on guys, it's a lot easier to guard them, man. Just don't open up and run with them. The NFL guys are pretty good with it. Good finish. Make sure we get the ball out. Ah, uh, all right. So be mindful of not hopping. So like, uh, and I'm talking about even I'm talking about uh, hopping lateral, laterally. So when you hop, when you hop, it. Let's say they give you a move to the left, and then you hop to your right, and then he goes the other way. Man, you're forced to open the gate. So you want to get into the habit of buzzing your feet and shuffling that way. And I have a drill where we practice this in the one-on-ones mastery, but you don't want to get uh, have the habit of hopping. Okay. It forces you to open the gate. All right, so we're in the slot. I like it. We just got to finish. He might have hopped at the end, but I do like it. He didn't give too much ground. You don't want to give too much ground in your press. Okay. Good job. Good job. Now finish. Ah, oh, man. So that was good coverage right there. We just got to make a play on the ball. Last one. Okay, A, B. Good job. Notice receivers, how he's stacking immediately. Now, he does this kick step technique. He does the outside kick step. Now, understand this. Your alignment matters a lot in your outside kick step. You want an outside shade, so you can't be too far outside, number one, because then you will be forced to open the gate. How do we outside shade, inside shade, or head up? You split his outside eye, okay? That's number one. That's on the outside shade. Inside shade, you split his inside eye. Head up, obviously, is head up. So let's say we're outside shade, what it looks like. He was in. We do the outside kick step, right? But we don't, we don't want to make a huge step. Understand the outside kick step is just a, it's a plan to have to do with your feet, okay? Because you don't want your feet to be like, cemented in the ground you need to have your feet ready to move all right so you do your outside kick step and then it can't be too wide and then you still get ready to shuffle okay so he does an inside release we got to make sure our eyes are right and then we need to get at least one shuffling boom but you see how he opens the gate whenever we open the gate a good receiver is going to stack so you see the difference uh high school and college guys so we got to make sure 
that our, our kick step isn't too wide. It's literally just a little little step. It's not it's not a massive wide step, which he kind of gets got on. And I think his eyes end up coming right here. Because look, you can kind of tell, I usually like to overemphasize my eyes on the waist when I'm training, right? And I have my guys do it too. So what happens is out, out, uh, outside kick step is too wide, and then our eyes come up. I can tell. And a guy shifty like a guy like AB, he's going he's gonna to work you. So then what happens? We got to open up the gate. And then look how fast he stacks. I hope you receivers are paying attention. But I do like the finish. Notice how all the NFL guys, if you get got at the line or you get beat, we got to finish, bro. You got to catch up with them. And, you you know, that's the only way you can look good on film. And understand this. Like I said, I have this muted. But really, <laughs> the crowd is going nuts right now. And I guess it is at the Steelers facility, the outside facility. So understand that. It's very important that you know the techniques. I only saw a couple techniques in this film. I only saw a soft shoe, and I saw one uh, kick step. When I did see one hot back. Um, but imagine if you had a whole tool belt full of tools. You know, so, okay, AB likes to do this because you've been studying his releases. He likes to do this. Okay, I got some for that. I play outside shade. I'm going to move inside. I could do, I could fake like I'm going a, I'm to a strike him. Or I'm going to come back. I could do the soft shoe. I could do this. I could do that. I could do this. You understand? So, man, there's a whole bunch that we can um, improve on. But I, I do like my younger guys to see the pro guys, how they move, how they operate. Receivers, man, you can see drastic changes in the receivers, too. You know, you notice that from high school, the, the, the footage I, I send you, um, I show you uh, from high school to NFL, the receivers are drastically different. <laughs> so, you guys, it doesn't get any easier. But you can get better. And that's what I want to help you with. So make sure you guys email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. Get the one-on-one -on -one mastery, man. I give you the drills to work on. Um, I show you all the techniques from back-to-back. -back. I actually perform them. I show you um, exactly what to do to get better. And then mind and body, of course, that's the most important thing mentally. Um, recruiting. Oh, so like, guys, everybody, I always tell, always, I've been telling you, if you want to get recruited to play college ball, make sure you – Email me and put recruiting in the subject line. Look, I'm working with Billy. Billy's been doing the recruiting help for years, and we want to help you guys. So all my guys, make sure you put recruiting in the subject line if you want to be recruited to play college football. And then my college guys, hit me up if you want me to critique your film too. Now, I critique a lot of people's film, but college guys, I want to help you um, to put yourself in the best position to get to the next level because I know how it is. I know how it is coming off the street, <laughs> you know? Coming off the street into the league, man. You know, I didn't get drafted, dog. So I, I, it's a different perspective, you know. But I got a network of uh, other NFL guys that I want to introduce you to just so that you can see how it is. And I got some good advice for you. So, man, I'm excited, man. This is Pittsburgh Steelers versus the Buffalo Bills. My dad is from Buffalo, New York. So kind of grew up a Buffalo fan, but not really. I've never been really a fan. You know, I just like different players and I just like the game. And uh, all that good stuff. So email me, guys. Hit me up. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.